Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another military ration taste test. Today, I'm going to be tasting this red Z ration. It is a zombie MRE from allmres.com, and this was sent to me by Ash. Ash, thank you so much for sending this to me. I'm excited to see what exactly this is. It is in a shiny foil wrapper, and she tells me this is Oh, it actually says on the back that it's a First Strike Z ration menu four. And she said in her note that this is a 24 hour ration. She also sent me a little box here wrapped in the funnies. Two great big sleeves of baby Tabascos. Look how stinking cute. The original and the green, which is equally delicious, a little milder in terms of heat. I have not seen any of these little glass MRE jars in any of the new MREs, just older vintage ones that I've tasted, but they're so stinking cute. They're actual glass jars. It's probably I imagine part of the reason why they got rid of them because they would be an increased weight, but they're so stinking cute and you can just reseal them. So you can shake a little bit on, reseal them. You don't have to deal with an open packet of hot sauce that you'll never use. This you can actually keep and reuse. So stinking cute, I love them. And she sent me so many of them. Thank you so much, Ash. Actually, since I have so many of these, I'm gonna do a little giveaway. So if you're interested in winning a pair of baby Tabascos, head over to my social media to see how you can win some baby Tabascos. As you probably gathered, this is not a government issue ration, but I imagine that there are probably components inside that are. But let us find out. So the plastic of the package is quite different. This is more like a mylar. It's much thinner and very reflective as opposed to the kind of drab khaki color of the government issue MREs. Let's see if this one's easier to open though. Oh. So this does not want to peel open. It looks like it's heat sealed. So I'll just open it with my knife. There's quite a lot in there. I've got a flameless ration heater to heat up the ration. Some beverage powder. This looks like an orange flavor. I've got a Z ration mixed fruit. I've got a Bridgeford Mexican style beef wrap. And this is the same company that supplies the ingredients for a US MRE. Sterling Foods cinnamon bun. Oh, this is just chicken chunks, it says. Nutritional information about the chicken chunks. Oh, looks like I got two of those. Cheddar cheese pretzels. First strike, cranberry raisin flavor. I haven't had that flavor. It looks like an energy bar. Wheat snack bread. Zombie trail mix. Ooh, jalapeno cheese spread. Yes, that is my favorite cheese bread right there. Another first strike bar. Looks like this one's a little bit smaller. And this is the mocha flavor. All right, a full size packet of M&Ms. And these are the peanut butter M&Ms. And look at this, a little baby kind of Slim Jim beef jerky. Military energy gum. This is caffeinated gum. A wet nap. Buffalo style hot sauce. So this goes with the chicken chunks. Right on. That sounds good actually, now that we have some sauce. And then we have some plastic utensils, a napkin, salt and pepper, and that is our ration. So there's a lot of food here, so this is definitely a 24 hour ration pack. Alrighty, let's go ahead and get started. So before I've even tasted anything, the only thing that makes this zombie ration any different than any other MRE might be the zombie trail mix. <laughs> Everything else looks like it's a pretty straightforward, typical ingredients and products that you would find in any kind of MRE. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and heat up our entree, and then while we're heating things up, I'll taste some other things. So we've got our phoneless ration heater here. I feel like I have something on my neck. What is that? Vampire? Spider? We just tear off this top part here to open up our bag, put my chicken chunks in. Then we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of water just to the fill line right there. I thought this was a dud, but it's not, it's reacting. So now I'm gonna elevate this so the water doesn't leak out and in about 10 minutes, we should have a hot ration. So set that aside. Let's go ahead and start with one of these. And this is a mocha flavored first strike bar, nutritious energy bar. And this one looks smaller than the cranberry raisin flavor. And that's the thing I noticed in this ration, it does not contain very many hot beverages. There's not a coffee, there's not hot cocoa. There's just one beverage actually, just this orange kind of instant electrolyte powder. So that's kind of curious. So there it is. It is soft, which is good. Let's give that a taste. Itadakimasu. Hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I actually like that flavor. I've only had chocolate in the past and I actually prefer the mocha. It's got a great coffee flavor to it and it's bitter. It's not just like cloyingly so stinking sweet. It's bitter like coffee, but there's certainly some sugar in there. The texture is pretty tough. It's very similar to say a Cliff Bar or any other kind of protein bar. It's sticky and chewy. There's a little bit of cereal in there, so it gives it a bit of crunch, probably some rice cereal, which helps to kind of lighten things up and make it a little less dense. But yeah, that's actually pretty good. I like that, especially for a little breakfast pick-me-up. That's good. I think that's probably my favorite first strike bar so far. Since I just tried the mocha, let's go ahead and try the crayon raspberry as well and see how this one compares. This one is definitely longer. It's 2.3 ounces as opposed to the mocha, which was a 1.5. So I'm guessing this is gonna be a little bit different formulation. Whoa, look at that color. I haven't had this first strike bar either. And that color is pretty electric. It smells like a raspberry scented eraser. <laughs> Definitely artificial, but let's go ahead and give that a taste. Here we go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Pretty much the same texture as the mocha flavor, kind of taffy, like a little bit crunchy and very dense. The flavor is very familiar. It tastes like a raspberry push-up. If you ever had those little yogurt push-ups, those little frozen desserts, that's exactly what this tastes like. It tastes like that artificial raspberry flavor. But what I appreciate is there's a nice bit of tanginess to this. This is not, again, cloyingly sweet or overly sweet. It has a nice little bit of tartness to it. And I like the change up of the fruit flavor as opposed to just chocolate or vanilla. Mm -hmm. If you look carefully, there's little bits of dried cranberry in there, which I think adds to the tartness of this. Yeah, not too bad. So for lunch, I'd probably have this, which is the seasoned beef with Mexican style spices. This is a fully cooked wrap. So based on a lot of comments that I've received from many of you who've actually used these out in the field, a lot of MREs are actually consumed cold. So that's what I'm going to do here. Plus I only have one flameless ration heater, so I can't really heat this up anyway. So I'm just going to have it right out of the bag. I believe I've actually had one of these before or something very similar, but I won't know till I open it. Yes, I have. So we'll get rid of that, which is our little air absorber. And these are little folded up burritos. So these tortillas surprisingly hold up pretty well. And inside, which doesn't look all that attractive, is this kind of meat paste. And then there's some cheese in there as well. And the cheese is this kind of shelf stable cheese. It smells just like a store-bought tortilla a little bit sour, floury, and the meat smells like taco meat. All right, let's give that a go. Mm. And that's not bad. It's very heavily spiced with like taco seasoning mix. So it's got some cumin, a little bit of spice. It's got a little bit of tanginess in there. I think maybe a little bit of vinegar. It actually tastes a lot like those frozen burritos that you can get in the frozen food aisle, the very small ones. And the thing that's a little bit strange is that it's not hot, it's kind of room temperature, so the texture of the meat inside is a little bit firm, although the tortilla is surprisingly soft. But what I do think it needs is a little bit of spicy kick, so I'm gonna use my little baby Tabasco that Ash sent me. And then this is my favorite part. Because it's a glass bottle, you can just shake as much as you want right there, and then you're like, oh, that's enough, I'm gonna save the rest for later. You put the cap on, and you just put it in your pocket, and you've got Tabasco for later. Brilliant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's great, it's smoky, it's spicy. Let's add the green Tabasco and see what that does. I believe the green Tabasco, although it doesn't say here, it just says green pepper is made with jalapeno. It has a slightly different flavor too. Ooh, yeah, let's get that on there. Mm, mm-hmm, clutch. I tell you, absolutely clutch Tabasco. Mm -hmm. It suddenly makes this a whole lot better. One thing I do find interesting about this is that it's a little bit sweet, much sweeter than I expected. Not like dessert sweet, but enough sugar in there that I notice it. But yeah, not too bad, especially since I didn't reheat it. Now let's go ahead and try our cinnamon bun. I don't believe I actually had this before, although I've had other desserts. Oh, actually this does look very familiar. 
So again, we're not gonna eat the little preservative pack there. A very interesting looking cinnamon bun. I think when I imagine cinnamon buns, I imagine a swirl. And rather than being swirled, this is a bread. And then it has little bits of cinnamon in there. So let me cut it open. So when we open it, then we see the kind of cinnamon swirl part in the middle. It smells quite good. It smells like those little pre-made desserts or danishes that you can buy, like Entenmann's or like the Hostess Crumb Cakes. It smells exactly like that sweet, vanilla, slightly preserved and artificial, but very friendly kind of reminder of childhood. So let's go ahead and give this a taste. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> The flavor is actually very similar to that as well. Cinnamon, sweet, artificial. The texture is completely different. Namely, this filling in here is very strange. It's kind of like jelly or jam and it's kind of slimy. The bread is pretty dense and then as you chew it up, it gets kind of gummy. These bread products are very, very unusual to me. I know that they are designed to have a very long shelf life and hence the texture of them are very strange. They tend to be very dense, a little bit dry and kind of gummy but this is supposed to last a very long time, so I totally understand that. And the flavor is not bad. It's cinnamon and sweet and kind of hits the spot when you're craving something sweet. It's just the texture that's just a little bit off, particularly this kind of wet, kind of jelly filling in the middle. Not like any kind of cinnamon roll filling that you've ever had before. <laughs> Let's open up our snack, the cheese and cheddar pretzels. Oh, cute. They look like combos. Do you remember combos? They look like they're pretzels on the outside. In the middle, they're filled with this cheese filling. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what these taste like. I wouldn't be surprised if these are actually combos. On the outside are crispy, salty pretzels. and the inside, you've got this kind of strangely dry, slightly sweet cheddar filling that tastes a bit like mac and cheese. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and check on our entree that's been heating up. This ration heater did not react too much. It did puff up, but it didn't really steam up. So I'm hoping this is hot, but we shall see. It definitely smells like it was reacting. It has that interesting kind of chemical smell to it. <laughs> and this is warm. It's not not hot, hot, just barely warm. So the tear notches go this way, but rather than doing that, I'm gonna cut it across so I can open up like a pouch. Here's my chicken. There it is. It actually looks a lot like tuna fish. So I'm gonna use this to prop that up a bit. I'm gonna use my wet nap to clean up my hands, which I should have done earlier. Sorry, mom. Oh, yes! This is my favorite kind of wet nap. They smell like Lemon Fresh Joy, love that. And this is nice and wet and not dry. The worst is when you open a wet nap and it's just dry and just like, what is this for? This is lovely. Reminds me of my Kentucky Fried Chicken days when I was a kid, I love that. Lemon scented wet naps. I'm gonna add my Buffalo style hot sauce and I'm just gonna add that whole thing in there. All right, so you can see it, I'm gonna pour this out. So that is a lot of food. With that, I'm gonna have my Sterling Foods wheat snack bread. It looks very similar to some of the Bridgeford breads I've had in the past. I found that if you butterfly it like this, it makes it a little bit easier to eat because this bread is so dense and dry that when you eat it straight up, it's just so much. So if you thin it out a bit, it's much easier to eat. Let's have the buffalo chicken by itself first. Here we go. Mm. That's not bad. It's pretty salty. The chicken tastes like canned chicken. It doesn't have a metallic flavor at all, which I appreciate, but it tastes like that pre-cooked chicken that you can get in a can. Kind of similar texture as tuna fish. It's pretty flaky. It's well cooked. The buffalo sauce is pretty good, nice and tangy, and it has some heat to it, but not overpoweringly like too spicy. It is a little salty, so I'm gonna have it on some bread, and I'm gonna make a little sandwich here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And for what it is, that's pretty good. You've got the bread there that absorbs the extra sauce, and of course the extra sodium keeps your hands clean. You've got a bunch of protein here that is covered with well-seasoned sauce. Yeah, that's stick to your ribs food right there. Mm, mm-hmm. I like it spicier though, so I'm gonna add some Tabasco to that. 
Ja. Yeah, that's better. So while I have my bread out, let's go ahead and taste the jalapeno cheese bread. This one is my favorite as opposed to the peanut butter or the regular cheese bread. This one is good. Okay, so I'm gonna put some cheese bread. I'm gonna take some of the buffalo chicken and I'm gonna put it right on there. Now let's try that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm that's definitely an improvement. The cheese gives it a little extra richness, kind of binds everything together. It adds a bit of a cheesy flavor and the jalapeno flavor goes really well with the buffalo chicken sauce. Not so surprising, right? We've got chili and chili. Yes, this is how you do it. And the cheese bread kind of masks the really dry texture of the bread. Yeah, this is definitely the way to go. This is good. Alrighty, let's have our drink. This package to a half of a canteen cup of water. So let's do that. Stir it up. Cheers. Hmm. Actually better than I expected, especially after that sandwich. That's actually better than I expected. It's less kind of Kool-Aid-y and more like Gatorade, Gatorade flavored orange electrolyte drink, which makes sense because this says it's an electrolyte drink, although it does taste like artificial orange because it is an electrolyte drink and that's what it's supposed to taste like. So now for the zombie part of the zombie MRE, the zombie trail mix. <laughs> All right, just M&Ms, raisins, almonds, peanuts, and cashews. Looks like a good trail mix to me. And here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it looks like zombie trail mix is just like monster trail mix, but it doesn't have any chocolate chips in it. <laughs> Next, let's taste the mixed fruit. Comes in this kind of squishy bag here. Oh yeah. So it looks like we've got some peaches, grapes, cherries. So I'm just gonna be honest here. I really don't like fruit cocktail, but I'm gonna taste it for you. All right, here we go. Mm. Actually, that's not not too bad. The syrup in there is not so sweet. Some syrups are just so sweet and it doesn't taste remotely like fruit. And that was a peach, I believe, but it doesn't really taste like a peach because this has been canned. I think my problem with fruit cocktail is that because all the fruits are mixed together, there's not any distinctive fruit flavors. Everything just tastes kind of like cooked mixture of fruit, which this is, so yeah. I never liked this growing up, and so I think that's carried on <laughs> now that I am grown up. But yeah, it is good to have some fruit though in your MRE. Next we have these, and these are peanut butter M&Ms. And they look kind of similar to regular M&Ms in terms of being round, but they're kind of fatter and thicker. And if we bite in the middle of them, you'll see that there's peanut butter inside. Mm-hmm. Mm. So in terms of an experience, they're kind of similar to Reese's Pieces. They have that little crunchy candy coating on the outside, but rather than just having peanut butter in the middle, this has a thick layer of chocolate on the outside. So you have more of like a Reese's peanut butter cup experience with the Reese's Pieces candy coating on the outside. Really good. Mm -hmm. My favorite M&Ms are actually the peanut M&Ms. I have the whole peanut inside, but these ones aren't half bad. Mm -hmm. I love peanut M&Ms a lot. I love them so much. I know that it averages about 22 M&Ms per bag about this size. Like seriously, I mean <laughs> a lot of peanut M&Ms. Okay, I need to put those away. So this is like a baby Slim Jim right here. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit like pepperoni. It's got kind of a smokiness, a little bit of a peppery flavor, a little bit greasy texture. When you bite into it, you get a little bit of kind of squeeze of grease and then you get a little snap on the outside when you just bite into it. I think that's my whole favorite part of eating a Slim Jim is that snap, like right when you bite into it. But yeah, that pepperoni, slightly chewy, smoky flavor, yes. Let's finish this off with MEG or MEG, and this is military energy gum. This has 100 milligrams of caffeine per piece. Look at that electric blue color. We've got five pieces there, and I think 100 milligrams is what you would find in a cup of coffee. Alrighty, so let's give that a go. Mmm, that's a substantial piece of gum. Mm hmm. Slightly tough texture, and the candy coating's a little bit thicker than those just typical MRE gums. 
Mm. And there's a slight bitterness to it, which is weird. Who wants bitter tasting gum? Okay, maybe that's the caffeine. Who is caffeine bitter? Whoa, oh, yeah. Maybe it's just because I just had the M&Ms and I've got that lingering sweetness in my mouth. This gum, while minty, pepperminty, a little bit mentholated, is bitter. But if you need a quick pick-me-up, nothing faster than chewing on a piece of gum. You don't have to stop. You don't have to do anything. You just pop a piece of gum in your mouth. Totally, absolutely understandable and necessary. Alrighty, so there you have it. The zombie MRE. Big thanks to Ash for sending this to me and for including the little baby Tabascos. So stinking cute. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to check out the military playlist where I taste all kinds of MREs, including international ones and domestic ones. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. <laughs>